In this problem, we're told a balsa wood block of mass 55 grams floats on a lake, bobbing up and down at a frequency of 3 hertz. A. What is the value of the effective spring constant of the water? And B. A partially filled water bottle of mass 0.25 kilograms and almost the same size and shape of the balsa block is tossed into the water. At what frequency would you expect the bottle to bob up and down? Assume uh, SHM or simple harmonic motion. So let's go ahead and start with A. So what are we trying to solve for in A? So in A, we're trying to find the effective spring constant of the water. So when they say spring constant, they're talking about the variable k, right? So we're trying to solve for k. And so we need some equation that relates mass, frequency, uh, and k, right? And so there's an equation that does that, which is frequency equals 1 over 2 pi multiplied by the square root of k over m. So this is the formula you can use, and you can plug in frequency, mass, and you can solve for k, right? Because if we have all those variables, k is by itself, and we can solve. So the first thing we want to do is just go ahead and get k by itself, right? Or, but first, let's actually just write down our variables. So what are the variables we're given? So of our first block that we're adding in the water, its mass is 55 grams. So 55 grams is going to be the mass, and we know the frequency It's going to bob up and down at 3 hertz. So frequency equals 3 hertz. All right, so notice we have hertz, we have mass, and we can solve for k, which is what we're trying to find, right? So let's just go ahead and plug it in, and then we'll solve. So uh, the frequency is 3 equals 1 over 2 pi times the square root of k over m. And so k, or m in this case, is 55 grams. But when you solve this, it must be in kilograms. So 55 grams, if you want it in kil uh, kilograms, just divide by 1,000, because there's 1,000 grams for every one kilogram. So dividing by 1,000, you're going to get that it equals 0 0.055. And it's going to be kg now. So now we can actually plug it in. So 0 0.055. And now let's go ahead and solve for k. So the first thing we should do is just multiply both sides by 2 pi. Right, that's going to get rid of this. 2 pi times 3 is just 6 pi. 6 pi equals the square root of k over 0 0.055. Uh, let's square both sides. 6 pi squared is just 36 pi squared, right? Because we're squaring the whole thing. Uh, and then it's just going to be k over 0 0.055. If we want k by itself, multiply both sides by 0 0.055. Right, so just do 0 0.055 multiplied by 36 pi squared, and you're going to get k. So when you do that, you're going to get k equals 19.54181671, and so on. I'm just going to round to the whole number, so I'm just going to say 20. You can round to however your teacher wants you to, but it's going to be 20, and then we measure k in, or the units for k are newton over meters. So newton over meters, so 20 uh, is going to be your answer to a, right, the first part, or just round however you want. Now let's do b. So for b, we're going to be throwing a filled water bottle, who's basically the same, or it's basically the same size and shape of this block, but instead its mass now is going to be 0.25 kg instead of uh, the mass which was 55 uh, grams, right, for the last one. And so for this one, what we're trying to do is solve for uh, the frequency, right? So we're trying to solve for frequency would be expected to bob up and down, right? So for this one, notice we're given mass and we're given frequency. But think about what we did in the last problem. We went ahead and solved for the constant k. And so we know the constant k is going to be the same for both, right? Uh, so yeah, so since they're the same for both, we have k, we have m, and we can just go ahead and solve for frequency. So we just got to plug it in again. So frequency equals 1 over 2 pi multiplied by the square root of k over m. So k in this case is 19. I'm just going to round, or I'm going to take a more exact value. So I'm going to say 19.54. So k is 19.54 divided by the mass, which is 0.25, right? So go ahead and do this. Uh, you're just going to want to do square root of 19.54, divide that by 0.25, and then you're going to want to divide that by 2 pi. Make sure you divide the whole thing. So divided by 2 pi. Yeah, so when you do this, you're going to get the frequency equals about 1.4. 0, 7. I'm just going to round to 1.4. So 1.4, and then we measure frequency in hertz. So this is in hertz. But yeah, so 1.4 hertz, that's going to be the frequency we expect, or your answer to B. So this is B. Uh, 20, uh, was your, uh, two, 20 newton over meters was your answer to A. But yeah, so these are your answers, and hopefully you found this useful.